How's it going guys? This is a, a combination video of a couple garage sales from last Friday and then I went out today uh, the following week on a Thursday and picked up some jewelry. I only bought jewelry uh, at one sale. Went out for about two hours and uh, like I said I only found the jewelry. But the first part of the video is what I found last last Friday. It wasn't quite enough to make a video, I didn't think, so I saved it for this week. End up coming across this uh, vintage GoBots toy still in the package. And it was on the table with uh, just kind of by itself. I asked the person if they had any more, and they said this is the only one they had. Asked them if they had any other vintage toys, and uh, this is the only toy they had. And I asked them where they got it, and they couldn't remember. So I asked them how much they wanted, and they said uh, $2. So it's a uh, vintage uh, GoBots made by Tonka, and it's from uh, 1984. Uh, but I already put this on eBay, and it has an $80 bid. So uh, 2 bucks into uh, 79 dollars $79.99 so far. Uh, previous video I told you guys I never come across uh, Nintendo stuff anymore. Well, I actually did last week. Uh, I only had these games, uh, no system or anything. And they sold me these for uh, $2 a piece. So I'm not sure if uh, why they have two copies of Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, but the best game appears to be the... Uh, Kirby Superstar that looks to be worth about uh, thirty dollars or so and I uh, came across a vintage watch I put a battery in it does have some mechanical issues uh, as you can see the digital flashes and the watch runs extremely fast I think I paid uh, two or three dollars for this it looks like to be like a corporate type watch from the person's uh, company, uh, Borg Warner. Uh, so even watches like this, uh, I could tell it's from at least probably the 80s, and uh, stuff like this does sell pretty well. I listed this already at $29.95 uh, as parts repair. It has like eight watchers, and I had somebody offer me uh, $40 for it. But since it has uh, quite a few watchers, I uh, declined it, and I just told the person that I'm going to see how the auction plays out. And then some, uh, these, these are all Mark Sterling, uh, 25 cents. There's a uh, bracelet and a necklace. Again, for 25 cents, uh, can't beat it. Uh, this sale I went to at the end of the day, so I imagine they probably had a lot of good jewelry there. And that was what was left. A uh, little update on that uh, Zodiac I found at the thrift store. I did find a, uh, a battery and uh, got it mailed to me this week. Put it in and uh, watch runs perfectly. I probably will list this on eBay this week and uh, hope to get... Uh, Probably fifty dollars or so, forty to fifty range. And then where I found this, I came across uh, this. This is a brand new sealed in the package uh, Sony voice recorder from probably the early two thousands. And yes, it was fifty cents. Uh, I've told you guys in previous videos uh, if you come across old Sony products. Vintage still in the package new These uh, can bring uh, really really good prices uh, I found a completed one of these uh, sold for hundred and fifty six dollars So again uh, still sealed in the package for 50 cents I have this listed now at uh, 223 223 dollars or best offer so we'll see how that goes. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. As you can see, it was sitting for a long time. It's pretty dusty. And then today's finds. Uh, this is probably at the second or third garage sale. A person had a uh, 
a basket full of jewelry and it was all you know in these uh sandwich type bags uh went through the whole container and this is what i picked out i did not bring the loop with me i normally don't at garage sales i kind of look at it and i think think it might be gold or sterling i just i just grab it because usually it's so cheap it's if it's not it's i'll just resell it um so this is nothing um a lot of times these they'll be uh, gold over sterling and I, could, I couldn't really make out the mark and it is not so it's just costume paid 75 cents for it no big deal and then these I thought they might be gold and they might be pearls I got my loop out the uh, they're not marked uh, anywhere uh, gold and I did the rub test on my teeth and I don't think these are pearls. Again, 50 cents, no big deal. And then these, uh, I could see they were marked Italy with uh, small little numbers or markings. So I knew they were either uh, sterling or, uh, you know, gold. So I'm picking both of these up. Uh, there's three of them total. And they're actually all marked uh, 14 karat. So this is a uh, quite a long necklace. So that is a marked uh, 14 karat. And again, that was a dollar. And on the clasp, it's also marked uh, 585, which is uh, 14 karat gold. So get a weight on these. So that's uh, 3.4 grams. And this one is also marked uh, 14 karat. It has a little heart with it, and that's also marked uh, 14K. Again, this was also a dollar. So we're up to 6 grams. And then this bag uh, was 50 cents. And again, I could I could tell it was marked Italy, and then I didn't see any markings on this. So for fifty cents, no brainer, get it, even if it is sterling. So that that is like I said, that is fourteen carat also. So I have about seven seven grams of uh, fourteen carat gold. I think the scrap on that is close to one hundred and eighty dollars. So. I uh, got about two dollars and fifty cents turned into uh, one hundred eighty dollars there, and then this is a very nice piece. Um, it's actually marked in the inside. Again, my camera is not going to pick it up, but this is uh, in the inside of the loop. There, it's marked ten k. So ten karat gold, and under the loop. Each one of those, uh, they are diamonds, uh, is slightly a different color, and I can tell there's some inclusions in some of them. So uh, that's that's those are real diamonds, and uh, that weighs two grams. So I imagine something like that was pretty expensive to buy retail. And it looks like it's to be uh, kind of dirty. But uh, 10 karat gold there, and I think that's worth probably 75 to a little over $100 maybe on eBay. So uh, Christy doesn't usually wear jewelry, but I think she'll like that, and I'll just end up giving that to her and see if she wants to wear it. So, uh, so those are my pickups. Um, this weekend there's a very large uh, association uh, neighborhood sale in the old part of Fort Wayne and I usually do pretty good so uh, keep an eye out for that video guys remember to uh, like and subscribe hit that notification bell and you'll see uh, when I post new videos until next time